This is Matt from Cold War, and I'm going to play a quick game of Lady Death Last Stand. Let's talk about the game boards. The first one is the player board. This is where you're going to put your avatar, the abilities that it has, its equipment, its essence, and the conditions it might have. Then we have the two encounter boards, and this is where you're going to push back against the helis from invading. Next we have the spirit shard board. This is a talent tree for your avatar. Beating certain campaigns will reward you with a spirit shard. You can place them on the spirit shard board to gain access to static abilities or to use for a one-time activated ability. Finally, we have the master board. This is used for epic boss battles. For this short playthrough, we won't have any masters in it, so we won't be using it for this one. Now, let's talk about the card types. First up are campaign cards. On the card will be their name, their tier number or difficulty, aspects in order of how many abilities you can bring to the campaign, the invader limit, which is the losing condition, affixes, which are effects during multiplayer, and the win condition. Next are rewards for the campaign. Prime rewards are rewards given when you beat the campaign for the first time. Standard rewards will be rewarded each time you beat the campaign. The encounter section will tell you how many of each corresponding encounter card you'll need to make up the encounter deck for the campaign. Now, let's take a look at avatar cards. First up is power. That tells you how many attack dice you can roll during an attack. Followed by proficiencies. Red for fire, blue for shadow, and green for ethereal. Proficiencies tell you up to how many fire, shadow, or ethereal attack dice can be included in your attack roll. Next is essence. Essence is the resource you use for your health and your abilities. Then we have the card name and the game text. Now let's take a look at an encounter card. The power is how much damage the encounter deals to you during the counterattack phase. Next is the resistances. Red for fire, blue for shadow, and green for ethereal. Encounter resistances tell me what I need to roll with an attack die to deal damage. For the underworld goon, I would need to roll a three or better with a fire, a shadow, or an ethereal attack die to deal damage to the underworld goon. Essence is the health of the encounter. Beneath that, we have the name and the game text. On the bottom right is the tier or difficulty of the encounter. Now, let's take a look at an ability card. Up first is the name, followed by the essence cost to cast, the magic school, fire, shadow, or in this case, ethereal, and the game text. Lastly, the item card with its name, its tier, its equipment slot type, and the game text. Let's take a look at how a campaign's played. Here's how you set up a game of Lady Death Last Stand. We need our boards, then we choose the campaign that we're going to play, and that will go into the campaign slot. Then, we select our avatar, and place it in the avatar slot. In this campaign, the aspects tell me that I can have one ability, so I'll take my unsummon and place it in the ability slot. Then, we need the encounter cards that are part of the campaign. We shuffle them up, and we place them in the encounter deck slot of the game board. Some dice, some essence counters, a dice rolling box if you want, and we're ready to play. There's one more thing that we have to do before we go into turn one, and that's set our starting essence for Lady Death. She has six. So we'll put six essence onto our player board. And then as a reminder, her game text reads, at the beginning of a campaign, if you have no spirit shards, gain one spirit shard. I'll use one of these counters to be a spirit shard. And on the spirit board, I'll place it and pick an ability here. I think I'll use this one. Target minion loses five essence. So real quick, I just wanted to mention what the phases of a turn actually are. First, there's the move phase. So if any encounter is in play, we would move it one position forward, then we would draw a new encounter from the encounter deck. We have a chance to play abilities, then we would attack, and then we get counterattacked. So here we go. Since we don't have any encounters in play, we skip that part and we move on to drawing the first encounter. Plavorian Squealer, he has an essence of four, so we'll take four essence counters and mark it so we know how much health he's got. He's got a power of two, so during the counterattack, if he's still alive, he will deal us back two damage. And the resistances are three for fire, four for shadow, and three for ethereal, which means if I'm using fire dice to make an attack, I need to roll a three or better in order to use that die to do a point of damage to the squealer. The squealer's game text reads, when a mutant comes into play, this encounter gains one essence. Now I'll move on to the attack phase of the turn, and for this, I need to see how many attack dice I can roll. 
and Lady Death has a power of six, which means I can roll up to six dice to make an attack. Then I have to check her proficiencies. So of those six dice that I can roll, a maximum of three could be fire, shadow, and or ethereal. Means I can do three fire and three shadow, or I can do three fire, two shadow, and one ethereal, any combination. Again, checking those resistances, we've got three in fire, four in shadow, and three in ethereal. So I will choose three fire and three ethereal. After we've rolled, then we need to check against the resistances of the encounters. For my fire, a one and two fives, and I need to roll a three or better in order to use it to deal a point of damage to the squealer because its resistance is three and fire. Can't use the one. Then we'll take a look at our ethereal rolls, a five and two sixes. Since the squealer has a resistance of three for ethereal, the five and the two sixes are definitely going to beat that, so I can use those as damage as well. It's only got four essence, so I only need four attack dice to take all of that, and we'll take one point of essence for each. Now that he doesn't have any essence, I'll go to oblivion, and we go to the counterattack step. Since there's no creatures in play, we don't take any damage. On to turn two. Again, for our move phase, we don't have any encounters in play, so we don't have to move them forward a position. Next, we draw an encounter, and we've got an underworld goon. He's got an essence of five. We'll mark that five essence counters on him. And here he's got a power of one, and his resistances are three in fire, three in shadow, and three in ethereal. His game text reads, if there are two or fewer encounters in play, draw an encounter. So here, to make room for the encounter, we move him forward a position and draw another encounter. And we get another underworld goon, give him his five essence. And again, game text is, if there are two or fewer encounters in play, draw an encounter. So our first underworld goon goes down, this one goes to position two, and we draw another encounter for the game text. Got a mutated hive warden, he has an essence of six, power of one, and his resistances are three in fire, three in shadow, and four for ethereal. For his game text, he's got the keyword guardian. Uh, what guardian means is that lethal damage needs to be dealt to guardians before damage can be dealt to non-guardians. I have to kill this mutated hive warden before I can deal damage to anything else. This can be really bad for me. Got three, three, and four for our shadow. On our guardian hive warden here, we've got a resistance of three. For our fire, we've got two, a three, and a five. Checking his resistance, being three and fire, I've got a three and a five that are definitely gonna beat that, but this two is not gonna help me. Since I've only got five damage to deal, because they made those resistance rolls, I'll take five essence from him, get my dice out of the way. And then we move on to the counterattack. Underworld Goon is going to deal me one point of damage. This Underworld Goon is going to deal me one point of damage. And the Hive Warden will deal me one point of damage. Now at the beginning of turn three, we have encounters in play. Move the Underworld Goon to four, this Underworld Goon to three, and this Mutated Hive Warden to position two. Now I'll draw our next encounter, and we've got a Hellbear. The Hellbear has an essence of five. It's got a power of two, and the resistance on him are four for fire, four for shadow, and three for ethereal means I have to roll a four with a fire die in order to deal damage or better. Roll a four or better for shadow in order to deal damage. Or for ethereal, I could roll a three or better to use that to deal damage to it. The Hellbear does have some game text. Uh, if it's in the first position, it actually dazes me. Dazed means I have two less power for the turn and I cannot use abilities. Since Lady Death has a power of six, being dazed now makes my power so I can roll a maximum of four dice instead of six. I also can't use my unsummon ability. Still have the Guardian on the board, so I have to deal one point of damage to the Guardian in order to start working on any of these other ones. Since I can't use abilities, I have to skip that portion of the turn and go right into attacking. We've got a five in fire, a six in fire, a two in fire, and a one in shadow. Hive Warden, the one isn't gonna beat its resistance. Next, I've got a two in fire. The two doesn't beat the three resistance on the Hive Warden which leaves me with my five and six of fire. Five is definitely gonna beat the three fire resistance for the Hive Warden, and I will take that, put him into Oblivion, and I've got one point of damage left that I can assign here because my six on the fire is definitely going to beat the four for the Hellbear with its four resistance, the three fire resistance for the Underworld Goons. And put some damage here on this Underworld Goon. Now we're gonna move on to the counterattack. Each Underworld Goon is going to deal me one damage because they both have one power, and the Hellbear is going to deal me two damage from its two power, doing a total of four. Moving on to the next turn, move the Underworld Goon down one, that Underworld Goon down one, this Hellbear goes to two, and we draw our next encounter, being a Raging Goon. 
So Raging Goon has an essence of 5 and a power of X. So X in its game text equals the number of goons in play. We've got an Underworld Goon, another Underworld Goon, and a Raging Goon. This Raging Goon has a power of 3 now. We've got a 1 in Ethereal, a 1 in Fire, and a 2 in Fire. We've got a resistance of 3 Ethereal here, 3 Ethereal here, 3 here, and 3 for that one. It's not going to help us. For a Fire, we've got a 1 and a 2. Our resistance in Fire is 3 for the Raging Goon, 4 for the Hellbearer, not going to do it, and 3 for these Underworld Goons. For our Shadow, I've got 2 4s and a 6 in Ethereal. So these 4s are going to beat the shadow resistance here on the raging goon i'll be able to deal damage to the hell bear because it's only got a resistance of four and the underworld goons have resistances in shadow of three and this six is going to beat all of the ethereal resistances since they're at three for each for my damage assignment i'm going to take all of these and put them on the raging goon and now for the counter attack i'm going to take one from each of the underworld goons two from the hell bear and three from the Raging Goon, because its power is equal to the number of goons in play. Taking seven damage total. At the beginning of the next turn, move everything down one more position. We've got two that are getting close to being invaders. Move our Hellbear and our Raging Goon down one position, and we draw another encounter. We've got another Raging Goon coming up. Five Essence, we're gonna put on them. Now that we've got two Raging Goons with the power of X equal to the number of goons in play, we've got one, two, three, Four goons. We've got four power here, four power here. Now I think I need to use a couple of abilities here. So we're going to use the four to unsummon this raging goon in position one. It loses the essence off of it, so I don't gain that because I didn't deal damage. And we'll shuffle these, set it back, and now I still have my spirit shard. Target minion loses five essence. Having two essence left after using that ability, I think it's a perfect time. So I'll take this off and I will get rid of the hell bear. So it's got five essence. Again, it's losing it. I don't actually get it. And we put the hell bear into oblivion. Now onto the attack roll. All of the resistances on here are three for fire, shadow, and ethereal. Just gonna grab two of each. This roll, I've got a two in ethereal, a one in ethereal, a two in shadow. And since all of our resistances are three, I'm not going to be able to get anything with it. Do I have two threes of fire and one shadow? I use the two fire here to beat the resistance. Take those two points of essence. Raging Goon now goes to Oblivion. And my final one I'll use on this Underworld Goon. Next I get counterattacked. One damage coming from each Underworld Goon. And we move on. Draw our next encounter. And we've got a Hellbear. We give him his five essence. Since he's in the first position, I'm going to get dazed, which means I can only roll four dice this turn, and I can't use any abilities. We're just going to get onto the roll. I've got a one in Ethereal, a one in Ethereal, a five in Ethereal, and a five in Shadow. We've got a Ethereal resistance of three on the Hellbear, three on the Goons. So these two ones are not going to help, but we do have a six in Shadow. And since the Hellbear is going to deal us the most damage, we've also got a five in Ethereal going to beat the three. We'll take two points of essence and move on to the counter attack. The underworld goons are each going to deal me one point of essence and the hell bear is going to deal me two. Now for the next turn, I move everything down one, draw our next encounter, and we've got a plavorian squealer, essence of four, power of two, resistances, fire three, shadow four, and ethereal three. We can use our ability this turn, but I don't have enough essence to pay for it. Looking at the resistances, I've got the lowest in ethereal being three on all of our encounters. Fire, got a three here, a four resistance here, and, and three resistances over here. Take three fire, three ethereal, roll them. Two ones on fire and a one on ethereal. I know it's not going to beat any of these resistances. I've got a four and a five in ethereal. That is going to beat the resistance in all of these. A four in fire would be able to deal damage to the hellbear having a resistance of four and the squealer in both of the underworld goons. I'm going to use all three of the damage to deal to this hellbear, put him into oblivion. I've got four essence left onto the counter attack. I'm going to take two from the squealer and one from each underworld goon. It's actually me losing the game. Thanks for watching the quick playthrough of Lady Death Last Stand. Obviously, I didn't win this one, but I know exactly what I need to do to beat it the next time.